in the second tutorial from um, for Civil 3D um, filter office procedure I'm going to show you how to edit points and create contours uh, using point groups um, as you'll see this is the file we've left off after we have datum shifted and rotated um, unlock points etc in the first tutorial and um, in the second one now we're going to show you how to edit points so what we have now in our in our points um, we have some shots that have been um, basically reflected us with for position only there'll be all these minus minus shots that were probably shot at a hundred height um, and and now we, what we need to do is edit these points and either put them in two different groups um, the groups are going to be defined by their height so we're going to change um, them to either an 899 which is actually an important um, position uh, that goes into the drafting such as uh, trees um, are a good example or um, so they'll go and we'll change them edit them put them on a minus 899 height or we're going to um, edit other points being fences um, maybe building shots that actually aren't important for drafting but they are important for position so we'll put them on a um, minus 99 um, 99 height so um, to do that we would then go up to our prospector and and right click on points and go edit points this now is tabulated in the point editor to show all relevant uh, all points in completed in the whole job and we can actually show these by elevation so for instance we can now see these are obvious to be our um, shots for position only so if i have a quick look in here you can see all the codes they're, they're the buildings fences we have a tree there um, so the only point within this job that we actually want to keep um, a, a, for drafting would be this tree so again they go on a minus 899 height you can just change our elevation to remove him way up to the top and then these are all going to be a minus 99 height so we can highlight them all control shift right click in the point um, elevation column edit and type in minus 999 now that changes all of those heights and I'll explain why we're actually giving these a minus a negative 899 or a 999 number a little bit later now if I click close you'll notice all of these shots are either a minus 999 or the tree here is now an 899 so once I have done all that I would go and now complete all my line work or remove line work that doesn't need to be there use my obviously the notes that I might have um, might specify any um, extra relevant information that I might want to um, create more lines so here you see I've speeded up the process I've actually gone through and done all the line work and it's all completed now including my boundary information I've added all the boundaries I've fixed up all the lines so it's been it's now just about a complete um, file the only thing that we haven't done yet is to we need to add contours to the file now if you have a look in the prospector tab we have some point groups now these point groups have already been predefined in the template to help speed up the process so in, in and say for instance a point group actually will contain points that you want to specify which points you want to go in there so I've actually predefined um, minus 999 this is to actually include only elevations matching 999 so in that point list you can see all of these points that's that it's been selected in there I could include say uh, a raw description of a CON a concrete shot it would then actually add them to here so just to show you, there's been a predefined contourable point group in the properties I've actually want it to include everything but I actually want it to exclude I've already gone ahead and worked out what I want it to exclude these point numbers I want it to exclude the these elevations minus 999 minus 899 and also these codes so for instance I don't want a top of gutter to be a part of my contour um, surface um, patios pergolas etc awnings these have all been excluded from the um, contourable point group so 
Next thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to create a surface. So in the uh, Prospector tab, right click on Surfaces and click Create Surface. We're going to give it a name. Just going to simply call it Tin. It's already been predefined as a style. We, we, we like to show it as point 0.1 contours because it actually will um, show a highlight highlight any areas it'll be sort of obvious for any areas showing them a point one and triangles you can change this we have got a predefined different styles um, that you can choose but for this we're going to first of all run this and then we'll actually change the style to a half meter um, in the end before it gets exported to for drafting so if I click OK you can now see that that surface has been created and if I expand it, we can now see we can build our surface using uh, many different types of things and one being point groups. We also want to add break lines to this surface. First of all, I'll add the point groups. Click add. We want to use the contourable point group. We click apply. And click. And you'll now see that we've actually got contours. That's actually gone to all of the points that we want to have within our um, our contour file. Next of all, we actually want to add break lines. Break lines um, are very important um, for where you might have um, certain structures. There's an immediate change of grade um, being uh, top of walls, bottom to bottom of walls, um, um, etc. Anyway, I'll just show you how we do this. Um, there should be a predefined survey figure to break line button in the survey tab. And if you click that, you'll see that it's actually created break lines within there. Simply go up to our layer manager. And then if you type in B for break line, click on break line and type in LAF for layer freeze. It'll freeze everything except the current layer, which is our break line. And you can see that has actually created break lines. See if I erase all of these and you'll notice if I click click survey figure to break line we'll bring them all back in. So there are break lines. Got some walls here, top some bottoms, there's some there's some banks there. Other information. What I'll do is I'm actually going to 3D orbit this, which you can actually do if you go to view, you've got orbit there. And then I'm going to have a look at that from the side. Now we've got some some points that are actually um, have copied in that are actually on zero height. We just want to remove any of these. So I want to just highlight those. Let's delete. I'm going to now go to the top view. I want to actually add all of these lines to my break line, to my surfaces under break lines. Simply right click on break lines, click add. You can give it a name if you like. Break lines one, click OK, select them that's actually added them to the surface and if I click L A T for layer Thor you'll see we've got actually more relevant information and it's actually using those break lines now I simply need to uh, go through and do some editing in here I need to maybe exclude some extra points and then after I've excluded any extra points I have now been editing um, around and excluding points. I've actually added a boundary within um, to exclude um, the contours and actually um, gone through my edits within here, within my surface module. I've now actually deleted some of the, the lines in here. With edits, you can actually uh, delete lines, you can add points, um, etc. to do that. But I'm now actually happy with that surface. So once I've been happy with the surface and I'm ready to want to change this surface to a point um, to half meter contours. So I've actually got my quick pick selected. This is why this box comes up here. I'm just going to quickly change that to half meters. And you'll see no triangles, half meters. And I've actually now got my half meter contours all shown. I'm happy with that. And that's basically how, how we create contours. There is another um, video on looking at just specifying on contours with alignments. Um, I'd, I'd advise to actually have a look at that video as well.
Um, next thing we want to do is actually export this file now for um, uh, for drafting, and um, this is why it's important now that we don't we don't want to send the nine 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 shots uh, for drafting. Uh, we do want to send eight nine nine shots, but we don't want to show the the height. So we've predefined within our point groups. We've, as you can see, there's a point groups nine 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 and eight nine nine. Now, it's very important how this hierarchy is shown. Is that currently it's showing everything because all points are on top. If I moved all points, go to properties. If I move all points to the bottom, click apply and click OK. As you can see, minus nine 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 and minus eight nine nine are above it. So that'll take precedence over them. If I click OK, you can now see, you can now see the tree shot is only showing the code and it's the point number. And it's actually not showing any of the um, minus 999 shots. So this is how we'd want to um, have this shown for the drafting department. Otherwise they'd have to go around and delete all the um, uh, minus 999 shots. I'll just put all points back to the top again, apply and OK you can see they're all come back. Now there is a process um, to get this to drafting and it predefines and it will remind you about what you need to do. In the survey tab again, we normally do detail levels all at one is to 100. So there's already a predefined button, Civil 3D to ACAD one to 100. Now if I click on that, it'll actually go through and audit the drawing. It will then bring up my point group manager. <clears throat> And now we want all points to go to the bottom. Click apply and click OK. As you can see there, it's just got the tree, the TR in there. There are no building shots, all hidden. And that's now it's gone to export drawing name. So I'm just going to export it. It'll put an abbreviated ACAD in front of it. Export that. Save the file. If you get an uh, error warning, just click OK. And it will now bring up the points group again. We will actually want to put all points back to the top. That's important because if someone else comes along, they might want to check it or underlay this file to the drafting one. They'll be able to see all of the points. So we always want to leave the file when we close it with all points. Click Apply and click OK. As you can see there, So as you can see now, all the points are back on. And if I now open up the ACAD file that was exported, just to show you how it was exported, how it looks, you'll note none of the shots, none of the 99 shots come in at all. That fence shot's there, it's not, not there. But we do have the tree shot. And then we'll be able to have a look with our field notes, what, what information is with that, that uh, for that tree, etc. Anyway, that's it now for creating contours. Again, I'd advise having a look at another uh, video tutorial on, um, on contours. Um,